Hey guys and welcome back to my channel and welcome to today's video. Today I am here to check in for the second week of July. I guess technically it's more like the third week but it's going to be the second week for me. Um, I apologize in advance for the cutting machine in the background. You guys will be hearing that throughout this video. I want to keep an eye on it and usually I close the door but then I can't hear as well so I'm gonna leave it open it shouldn't be too loud but I just wanted to say I'm sorry in advance also it has felt like it has been forever since I've talked to you guys and I guess technically it's been like almost an entire week um, at this point since the video has gone up I have mentioned this a few times but I have been so busy with catching up from all the mystery kit sale orders. I did include a discount code in the mystery kit for June and the mystery kit had like a really amazing discount code which included custom scripts, something that I've never done before. And I have just been so slammed trying to design all those customs and also um, you know, just get those orders filled because I got a lot of support with that sale. So thank you so much if you place an order using that discount code. Um, this week, tomorrow on Friday, Mystery Kits for July will be going up. This one is so fun. I am extremely excited about it. I already have an idea of when I'm going to use it and I think it's going to be one that a lot of people are going to really like. So that is what's cutting right now. I'm trying to really stock up so that like hopefully I don't have to do much restocks in terms of um, the mystery kit. But anyway, the reason why you're here today is for this weekly check-in. So I'm gonna be checking in um, for like the second week technically in my planner. I always check in and see how we're doing for groceries, eating out, household, gas for our cars, and then anything that may be unbudgeted. So that's what we're gonna be doing today. I've mentioned this a few times before, but I don't technically have like a set schedule for when I do these weekly check-ins. So I'm just going to go off of what I did last time and that's kind of where we start. So on the 12th, Jason filled up on gas, so I will need to include that. But in terms of groceries, we had Caputo's of $17.82 here. Then we had Woodman's of $73.91. We finally checked out the local Woodman's and I'm obsessed with that store. Um, we went to Mariano's and we actually got food there. Um, they have like a little dining center in the one that we live by and I'm sure that's a common thing that a lot of Mariano's have, but we haven't gone there since like the whole like, you know, pandemic thing. So. We went there and then we went to Woodman's just to check it out. So Mariano's was 1808 and then we got some gelato that was 425. And then Jason went to Aldi that was 2589. I think that was just like for milk and bananas, things like that. And then he went to Aldi that was 1014. And then Aldi again, 7765. Um, then he went to Costco and spent fifty ninety seven. Again, Aldi forty six oh one, and Target fifty three thirty six. And then I picked up Jason some buy tea. He really likes the peach type, and we can't find it anywhere other than Amazon. So that was twenty two oh three. So that holy moly. <laughs> I might have to recalculate. That seems like a lot of money. Did we really spend $400? I'm gonna really quickly redo that. So and 53.36. 2203. Yeah, $400.11. Holy moly. Um, so our fridge, I, I guess I haven't updated you guys in a while. Our fridge is officially, um, officially fixed. So we spent $411, um, $400.11. And what we had remaining last time we checked in was $548. 46, which means that we have 148.35 remaining. 
and we just have one more week left. So that's what we have remaining for the last week. So that's actually really good. That means that we have over what, well, I guess I give us, I give us $200 per month or per week now. So actually that's under what we normally budget, but I think that's totally doable. A lot of the stuff that we picked up in these grocery hauls and things are stuff that will last us for a while. We also have a $200 credit coming from the fridge repair. So we do have a warranty with all of our appliances because when we purchased our home, um, our house was renovated and they got all new appliances. So for our fridge, at least, we have a whole year warranty. So if it breaks again, we can get it fixed. But with the warranty, you get a $200 food reimbursement so I submitted for that like right after they fixed it and it's been working great the fridge has been working amazing but we've been stocking up on things because again we've been living out of like my mini fridge from my office so we haven't had much at all so um Jason me and Jason have been like kind of just buffing up the food that we have available at home so we can eat at home more often and not eat out as much. And then same thing in the office, I got a bunch of snacks and drinks and things like that so that like, again, I can just eat at the office instead of going out and getting stuff. So anyway, 148.35 should be plenty. We also got a really generous gift from our realtor. Um, he gave us $300 to a butcher um, to get like steaks and chicken and stuff like that. So we're definitely going to be um, stocking up on that as well. I don't know if we'll have to use all the, you know, all of that amount at one time or if we can just kind of go like whenever we feel. But I definitely think that a lot of our meats will be coming from there for a while. So I think we're in good shape. Again, we have that reimbursement coming. We have a $300 credit for a, um, like butcher deli place. So I think we're in really good shape. Next is going to be eating out. Um, so again, we did recently get our fridge fixed. So I feel like we've had more eating out than normal, but I definitely anticipate that like going down quite a bit. So 18, 14 for Jimmy John's and then 569 for McDonald's. I actually picked up a McDonald's uh, mocha frappe. I've never had one of those before. And Jason's dad like raves about it. He's like, it's not, he's like, I wouldn't necessarily call it coffee because it's like more of like a dessert, but he's like, you should definitely try it if you like mocha. So I was like, you know what? I've been working my butt off. I'm going to treat myself and get one of those. And it was actually pretty good. I don't know if I would go out of my way to get one. And I do definitely agree with him. It's more like a milkshake than coffee, but it was kind of fun trying it. And then uh, me and Macy went to an LOL, like an LOL surprise event. And that was so fun. She absolutely loved it. But we stopped at Annie's Pretzels to get pretzels. That was $8.39. And then we had some things over here. So $19.16, $11.45 to Starbucks. Me and Mila actually went to Starbucks. We were out of milk and we needed to go to Ikea. So I'm like, you know what? Let's just stop at Starbucks. I'll get myself a drink. I'll get her a um, cake pop and a milk. That way, like on the way to Ikea, like she'll be occupied. And then we've been going out to brunch on Sunday. So that was $25.98. And then McDonald's $6.98. We just grabbed like breakfast sandwiches before church. So $6.98 there. So that brings us to a total spent of $95.79. $95.79. Last time we checked in, we had $142.17. So we currently have $46.38. And when I take a look at what we have left, we have two more weekends remaining. So if I divide that by two, we have about $23.19 remaining. 23 19 per week so not very much at all um, I think that should be fine though because we do have like a birthday party that we're going to go to on Sunday we're gonna be going to Jason's parents house on Friday so like we have other things going on besides just you know hanging out ourselves but it's good to do this check-in so we know where we're at and like you know to plan accordingly Next is going to be household items. So Jason has been getting little things from Ace. Um, he spent 417 
and then 12 I think that was for like yard waste bags then 15 75 and then Target I picked up some stuff like mouthwash and other things like that we also got like a new bath mat so that was 36.63 and that brings us to a total spent of 68.55 So last time we checked in, we had 95.06, which means that we currently have 26.51. So we're doing really good there. I definitely have some stuff for the house that I still need to get. I feel like we're in really good shape in terms of like just having, getting all the things that we've needed. We finally got a kitchen table and chairs and we did a lot of research. We have been like thinking super hard about like placement and sizing and all of the stuff in the house because we just don't want to like purchase anything that's going to be too large or just won't like functionally work or it won't look right with the style of the house um and i feel like we did such a good job with the kitchen table we got the kitchen table and the chairs from ikea it's not like a fancy set at all but it looks really really nice in our house and i feel like the colors go well the table is like a natural wood kind of matches our floors and then the chairs are black and i love them because you know all of the things the table the chairs are super easy to wipe down but i love it because the black chairs really do like it hides a lot of the dirt and stuff like that, that the girls are going to get on it of course i wipe everything down but um i kind of like that aspect so We've been getting a lot of the stuff stuff that we needed. I really wanted to get like a big cube organizer from Ikea to store all of the kids' toys. We have a bunch of pink bins and the cube organizer from Ikea fits the bins perfectly. So our basement's all cleaned up. Everything is unpacked at this point. Um, we have a table, we have chairs. We actually just ordered Macy's room furniture and some of it's going to be arriving tomorrow so I feel like we're just in a really good place with the house and then also I feel like I'm getting into a good place with work where I'm getting into a groove I'm getting stuff out um, if you've you know seen orders going some of your orders getting shipping notifications you probably know but anyway that has been really exciting gas for our car so Jason filled up that was 57 28 and then he filled up again that was 44.30 at woodman's so we have spent 101.58 and last time we checked in we had 203.91 so we have 102.33 remaining i'm guessing that I will have to fill up my car at some point and Jason will also so we should be in really good shape in terms of the the gas I think we'll be good there we have nothing unbudgeted so that is good and then one thing that I also wanted to point out was we did finally get some refunds that we were anticipating for the old house so we got our water refund that was 2872 and then we got our insurance, our home insurance refund. That was six thirty four ninety seven. So that's just going to go in the other income section, and it'll just be like, you know, combined with my business, my my take home pay, and that's kind of how we'll calculate what we are over and under. So that's awesome. Okay, so lots of stuff going on here. I don't remember when we ch last checked in. Um, I think it was right around here. So we went to the pool, we took the kids to the pool. It was a really fun day. We seriously went there from like four until seven. We had dinner at the pool. So um, we spent $7.50, $14 and then $22. Um, all three of those included like us getting into the pool, dinner, and then we also had ice cream at the pool. And then we also went with Jason's parents to a food, uh, to a music festival in town and they had food trucks so we got dinner there that was $18. We had tolls come out that was $20. Like I mentioned before I took Macy to an LOL event so to get in it was $20. Like Macy got to get her nails done, she got her hair done, she got to make like a little tote bag, she got to take pictures and make a bracelet. It was a really fun thing. Macy I've probably mentioned this in the past but Macy loves lol surprise dolls um for a long time I feel like we kind of like 
not pushed back, but we, me and Jason really didn't see the peel of them. And then finally, I think it was right around Christmas time, we're like, you know what? People don't understand why I like stickers. Like, they don't get it. A lot of times when I tell people that I make stickers and that's my job, I feel like I get some weird looks. So it's kind of the same thing. It's like me me telling Macy that she shouldn't be obsessed with these LOL dolls is like someone telling me that I shouldn't be obsessed with stickers. And I told Jason, I'm like, you know what? I think we're just thinking about it wrong. It's like, if she likes this, like, and there's nothing wrong with it there's no harm they're not teaching her anything bad like I feel like we should just let her have her own hobbies and so Jason saw that they were doing this event at the mall and we were like yeah let's for sure take her so $20 for the actual event and then we spent $51.69 on getting um Macy and Mila a doll and then also Macy got a t-shirt so it was really fun doing that Jason picked up diapers at Costco that was $44.99 Jason and Macy went downtown Chicago with his cousin. They went to the beach. They scootered around. It was a fun thing. Um, so I put $60 here because Jason actually took $60 cash, but I will have to update that when he gives me the change. Um, I recently picked up school supplies for Macy. I just did like a Target pickup order. That was $89.14. That's for pretty much everything that she'll need. The only exception is we're going to get her a new backpack and a new lunch bag. So that's something else that I'll have to pick up. Um, but that came out of the activities and school section. That's a new sinking fund that we put in place and I know we've had a lot coming out of that sinking fund so in August I definitely anticipate having to add more money to that and then Jason loves these crocs I think I got them for him for Christmas like a long time ago he's obsessed with these crocs they recently broke and so he's been trying to fix them so he's been going to like hardware stores and trying to find little pieces to fix them I think he finally found some on Amazon so that was eight 16 so we'll see if that works but anyway that was that and then I showed you guys my savings tracker last time um, so I figured I would go ahead and show this to you guys as well so you guys know we do budgeting um, I have like my variable expenses my fixed expenses I also have sinking funds but with the house I kind of decided that instead of you know trying to budget certain things for the house or instead of trying to like put a sinking fund together and just randomly throwing cash into it I'm like you know what I'm just going to do like a savings tracker basically it's kind of like a spending tracker because we're not putting I'm not showing like what we're putting in I'm just showing what we're taking out um, if you guys have been around for a while you know that we have been preparing for our new house for a very very long time like forever I feel like since I started my YouTube channel we kind of had an idea that we would eventually move from our old house so we have been saving a ton of money so that we could put a huge down payment down um, we also were like throwing extra money at our mortgage at one point but at this point right now we are um, you know furnishing our home we're trying to get the things that we need we still need blinds for a lot of, a lot of the house because we didn't have blinds um, we're trying to give Macy like a big girl room and there's just things that you need to get when you buy a new house especially when you buy a house that was renovated or is a new construction because you don't ha it doesn't come with blinds it doesn't come with curtains things like that so anyway I talked about um, a few of these before we picked up the um, Ikea chairs that was 325 and then Macy's bed her desk her um, end table and her rug came out to be $28.41 which might sound like a lot of money and me and Jason went back and forth we did a ton of research like I mentioned before about this because Macy has had the same furniture in her room since she was a newborn um, the only exception is her bed because Jason's parents let us borrow a bed for her when we like were anticipating having Mila and we knew Macy needed like a bigger bed so we borrowed their bed but it was always the intention that like we would give that back because it was actually Jason's younger sisters and you know she would want the bed back for maybe like a future daughter um so we haven't purchased anything because again every single dime that we've had has been going to the new house and saving for a down payment all of that 
So we have been doing a lot of research trying to figure out like the best room set up for Macy. We knew that we really wanted her to have a desk so she could go and do homework. Um, a lot of her friends that she goes over to their houses, you know, she comes back and she's like, oh, they have a desk, they have a desk. And she really loves makeup. She doesn't use a ton of makeup. She Like we don't let her um, use makeup that often. It's usually kind of like a fun thing, but um, she really wanted to have like a desk and also like a makeup vanity. So anyway, we did a lot of research. I, we looked at Ikea because a lot of our furniture is actually from Ikea and we just weren't really super satisfied with the options. We wanted to purchase stuff for her room that would last for a while, like last through her teenage years. And I know that's like hard to imagine, but, um, like her dresser right now, you know, Macy is almost seven and she's had her dresser since she was born. So we try and pick items that like are gonna grow with her. My nephew has one of those really fun beds where it's kind of like a house and it's like on the ground. Um, and like Macy loves that bed. Every time she goes to his room, she's always loved that bed. And we were thinking about maybe doing something like that, but I'm like, you know what? When she's like 12, she's not gonna want this bed. So we tried to think really long and hard about like, you know, investing in furniture that would last for a, a long time, um, that would go along with lots of different like decorations and stuff like that that she might have in her room because we wanna make sure that it's going to last, like we said. So anyway, we ultimately decided to purchase from Pottery Barn, um, which is not cheap. But also, if you've checked out other furniture stores, Pottery Barn's not too bad because me and Jason were looking for a kitchen table and we checked out Pottery Barn, we checked out Crate and Barrel, we checked out a bunch of like the local furniture places around us and Pottery Barn was actually like more reasonably priced than a lot of the other furniture stores. So regardless, $2,800 sounds like so much money. And like, I feel like Jason really struggled with like spending that on kids furniture. Cause again, we usually just get stuff from Ikea, but um, I really think that it's going to last for a long time. And I think that it's going to suit her now and also when she's a little bit older. So anyway, that is a little update on our savings tracker. I definitely think that we'll have some more stuff coming out of here. I know that we have to pick up Macy a new mattress. We're gonna be getting some like decorations and things for her room. She's going to need a desk chair. So we'll have some more stuff coming out, but I don't really think that we're gonna have anything crazy like thousands of dollars <laughs> anymore. I think that was like our last big um, expense coming out. So anyway, that is our weekly check-in. I hope you guys enjoyed getting to see a little bit of how our week has been going and getting a little update about house and work stuff. Like I mentioned, things have just been kind of crazy trying to catch up with everything, but I definitely hope to, you know, get more into a routine and get back to filming, you know, a normal schedule pretty soon. So yeah, that is pretty much it from me today. I hope you guys enjoyed. Definitely make sure to pick up a mystery kit this weekend. Again, it's gonna be a really cute kit and I think it's gonna be one that a lot of people really love. So anyway, thanks again and I'll see you guys next time. Bye guys.